Now, an important security alert you'll certainly want to see. It's pertinent not just during the RNC, but they need it right now. That's right. You know the electronic key cards that we all carry and use to get into most private places in our lives. But what if someone could clone that badge and actually steal your identity without the card ever leaving your pocket? Well, you know we're always investigating, and Megan Hickey had a hacker show us exactly how it's done. Megan, he broke into our station today. He did with permission so that we could see for ourselves. Now, you've probably heard of credit card hacks or ATM skimmers. Well, this technology takes it to a whole new level. Your work, your apartment, your parking lot. For many people, it's the key to their lives. But what if anyone who passed you on the street could steal that key without a single touch? That hits all the tumblers and moves the door up for us. Meet Dave Kennedy. He's former NSA, worked military intelligence in the Middle East, and now he's a professional hacker, or some might say burglar. I've walked into a retail shop and actually taken the entire cash register and walked out of the place. Kennedy has worked for some of the most powerful companies in Cleveland. Financial institutions, you know, manufacturing, uh, you name it. Hired to steal from them to show their weak spots even moonlighting as a bank robber. We've gotten into bank vaults and uh, stole a ton of money. But he says the easiest way to break into an organization is by cloning these. It takes about a half a second uh, to clone somebody's badge, and then now you're that person. Kennedy made his own radio frequency ID cloning device, and he told me plenty of other hackers have done the same. This is the antenna. So we put this him to the test. The he hid the device inside this clipboard. We sent an unknowing producer into the parking lot, and he asked for directions. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hey, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Watch again and look for the clipboard. Next, he makes a beeline for the keypad, and he's in. And Kennedy said this summer's RNC goers might not notice either. You know, you have a lot of politicians, people with a high level of access. You know, just walking past them in a public place and being able to clone their badge is definitely a significant threat. From public security zones to private companies, Kennedy warns that a high-level security breach could start like this. Then you have full access to the building to do whatever you need to. Now, Kennedy said the best advice is not to have your lanyard, your key card exposed on your lanyard or on your belt while you're out of the office. Tucking it away makes it harder for hackers to single you out. Live in Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.